big upgrade incoming for the Philippine Air Force, and it's not just new jets. Today we're talking about the F-A-50 Block 70 and the game-changing Phantom Strike ASA radar that will be installed on the 12 new jets. Stick around. This one actually changes the F-A-50's role in Philippine air defense. In October 2025, Raytheon confirmed delivery of the first Phantom Strike ASA radar to Korea Aerospace Industries for integration on F-A-50s. A compact, air-cooled gallium nitride ASA designed for smaller fighters. That radar is set to equip follow-on F-A-50 export and upgrade packages, including the 12 F-A-50 Block 70s the Philippines ordered earlier this year. The Philippines ordered 12 additional F-A-50PH light combat aircraft in 2025 as a follow-on buy. These are Block 70, sometimes reported as F-A-50 Block 2070 upgrade family, standard jets, modernized with new avionics, refueling probe compatibility, and, crucially, an ASA radar. Phantom Strike is Raytheon's compact ASA, built with gallium nitride, GAN transmitter modules, and an air-cooled design. Two features stand out. It is very light, reported around 68 kilograms, and it runs fully air-cooled, so it doesn't need heavy liquid cooling plumbing. That makes it perfect for smaller platforms like the F-A-50. Why does that matter? Traditionally, ASA radars were heavy and power-hungry. Great for F-16s and above, not so great for light fighters. Phantom Strike shrinks that footprint while keeping many Tier 1 radar capabilities. Phantom Strike can generate multiple digital beams at once. That lets the radar do interleaved air-to-air -air and air-to-ground modes tracking multiple aerial targets while mapping ground features. It also boosts detection range, tracking accuracy, and jamming resistance compared with older mechanically scanned arrays. In plain language, the F-A-50 will go from a close support shellite attack trainer to a platform capable of true beyond visual range BVR engagements when paired with appropriate missiles and avionics. That's a big leap for a jet in this class. Raytheon said it delivered its first Phantom Strike unit to KAI on October 20, 2025, and integration testing began following flight evaluations earlier in 2025. KI's FA-50 upgrade program has been trialing the radar across bloc, upgrade efforts and export variants for Poland and Malaysia. And the same, Phantom Strike family will equip the Philippines follow-on. So expect avionics integration and test flights before any Philippine deliveries. KAI previously said the contract timelines target delivery by the end of the decade. The radar delivery is a critical milestone in that process. There was discussion about indigenous South Korean ESA options. For example, Lignex One's work. But reports indicate KAI and Raytheon's Phantom Strike is the path chosen for the FA-50 block upgrades and export variants likely because Phantom Strike was designed specifically to meet swap, size, weight and power, constraints for light fighters and already cleared for export. Choosing Phantom Strike gives KAI a ready-made, export-cleared solution that reduces schedule risk, a pragmatic choice if you want to field capability sooner rather than later. For the Philippine Air Force, the Phantom Strike-equipped F-A-50s mean several real operational gains, improved airspace surveillance, earlier and more reliable target detection, the potential for BVR missile employment, and a stronger sensor suite for combined arms missions. In simpler terms, more time to react, better situational awareness, and extended reach for defending the archipelago. Those 12 jets by themselves won't replace heavier 4th gen fighters, but they become far more useful for air policing, interception, and deterrence, especially when paired with networked sensors and ground control. In the regional picture, Phantom Strike on F-A-50s pushes the envelope for what light combat aircraft can do. Poland, Malaysia and the Philippines are all listed as Phantom Strike customers for F-A-50 variants. That broad adoption helps KI market the F-A-50 as a more capable export fighter in a cost-conscious market. Radar improves deterrence and adds credible capability without the price tag of heavier, fourth-generation fighters. 
a cost-effective step while the PAF plans for longer-term modernization. To sum up, the Phantom Strike ASA is the single most consequential electronics upgrade for these 12 FA-50 Block 70 jets. It gives them radar-based capabilities that previously belonged to larger fighters. That doesn't turn them into F-16s overnight, but it does make the FA-50 a far more potent survivable and relevant asset for the PF. I'll keep tracking integration updates, weapons fit announcements, and delivery timelines. If you want a deep dive on the sensors or a technical breakdown of how Phantom Strike compares to other AESAs, tell me in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.